great for a cat. And the system's not meant for a cat. And I'm just thinking, you know, it's a place to be. You're thinking the place to be is in the grave. So that is a picture of you there, is that right? What are you saying? Are you all better off dead? Yeah. Because? Um, because one is peaceful then. Two, um, the cat's getting a lot of attention. Um, and I assume you did get to the same. Yeah. I, I guess I felt not wanted, so I, I kind of survived by being angry with everyone about it. Conforming on search, but only feeling angry. And now in my life, what I often do is I, I'm angry with people or with life or the planet or things all the time, but I don't express that because you usually feel conforming on the surface. And it stops me getting, them, I stop myself getting my knees back because I'm always angry. Because I feel, um, I guess I'm not one and there's not enough love around. A bit like June was saying, like there's only enough for one person. So, so what are you wanting out of this? What's your contract? My contract is to, I want to decide not to give up on love and give up on having a good life. Because I think that was my decision was just to give up. There's, there isn't any point. Do you have a recent example of this? Uh, well, not specific, but generally over the past month, I just feel like I've been giving up on things. Um, Such as? Um, well, then I, I think, do I want to do TA? Then I think, oh, the TA is not working for me. And, I hate work. Um, getting close to people feels too hard. Um, so I you know. Um, it's kind of get angry. I don't need anyone. I just want to get away. My solution is just to get away. And like yesterday afternoon, I have been feeling really tired. But I'm aware of my time is so I've left the room to go for sleep. It's also just to get away. It's like. Yeah, my solution is to get away from everything and then I'm safe. But the other thing that's bugged me is I can't get far enough away. It's like I'm realising I just can't get away. There is always... Right, as I understand it, you're saying like, uh, thinking of like, uh, like I don't want to do TA, it's not working for me, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So what's the problem? Um, the problem for me is is that I desperately want to believe in things and to be wanted, but I I get angry at things and set them up so that can't happen because of how I was then, I guess. Do you have a personal life? A lover? Family? Um, no, I don't have a family. I've got a family, but I guess I don't see them or anything. And I did have contact with my sister, but we had a round, I haven't seen her for a couple of months. And no love Um, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to find it really hard uh, to stick at it. So I almost have to force myself to stick at it. So you end up alone, is that right? If you just try and go better up and where do you end up? I just guess, yeah, I just drift off and end up alone. And one of the ways you achieve that is by getting angry at things and people, is that right? Yeah, and then giving up on things, saying everything's fucked. I don't want to know about it. Mm -hmm. So, as a result of the work you're about to do, who are you going to uh, want to not give up on? TA, your lover, your job? Um, I don't want to give up on. It's like I try and crush the hope in me of, of some good things happening for me, right? I try and crush that. 
So you don't want to give up on Ken, is that right? Mm. And in the past you felt the same sort of feelings like I was crushing all the hope and um. all that sort of stuff too? Mm. Like if, if I get angry with him, I feel like getting away. Alright. Get a check. You want to do this too, check? With Ken? Yeah, I feel a bit uncomfortable. Is there something you want to check out? Not really, I just feel uncomfortable because... Well, would you check it out anyway even if you don't want it? Well, you imagine Ken there. And uh, how's he sitting? Okay, that's good. If you want to switch over and lead him.
No one went away because there wasn't no one there anymore. No. Say. No one wanted to be with me. Unless I was really good. What? Unless I was really good. But I was angry, so I thought, fuck them. So it's like, if I be myself, I can't be with anyone. And I can only be with people if I'm really good. And it's like I think, fuck everyone, so it's like I have to get away. It's the only way I can be me. Tell Ken you feel that towards him. Yeah, I feel, I feel that a bit. Like, as long as I'm happy and positive, then I can be around people. If I'm like this, then... Feels as bad. So tell Ken you're gonna leave. No, I'm, I'm not gonna leave. Better feeling. Feel. If I get angry, you're really scared. Oh, people are they going to hit me or they going to leave? So I guess you're going to have to take a risk with him if you're going to stay around him. Well, I do say, like, sometimes I say I'm angry, but I do it, like, intellectually. Like, the other day I was feeling a bit angry about this, and I mean, it's better than not saying anything. Yes, it is. And it lacks, it's like I'm afraid relationships die out if you don't get a bit of Tell that. Ken. I'm, I'm afraid our. I'm afraid our relationship will kind of drift a bit because we don't bump up against each other. And I'm dead scared of bumping up against people. Say that to Ken. I'm dead scared of bumping up against you. Against you.
court quit some of the old bumping. <laughs> the bumping that doesn't have anything to do with him, it just has to do with that. So if you could sort them out. Same thing, I've got, yeah, I've got some archaic feelings, like rage for my family and also love for them. And yeah, I feel them coming out in other people, I put them on other people. I sort of sidetracked you then too. So the question that you were dealing with is how can you express what you want and your anger with Kim without doing some kind of bump up, bump that will not be good for you. Hmm. There's going to be things that Kim do, does now that you're not going to like. Yeah. So that's when you bump. Yeah. yeah. How, how can you <clears throat> express what you feel without making a federal case out of it? I know I'm capable of saying, saying that pisses me off or whatever, and I feel really like unsafe when I say things like that. I feel like I'm depersonalized or something when I say when whenever I'm in a kind of conflict situation like that. Um, so are you willing to bring more child into when you actually confront Kim? Uh, I feel really scared, especially with men, with that because I hear that. When I get emotional, I feel very young. I feel that's bad, especially around men. I'm not as bad with women. But around men, I just feel as bad. And it's something I don't have in the relationship with men. Is is, is that kind of thing? Like. So tell Kim how pleased you are to have this relationship with him. No, I'm real happy that you're my friend, Kim. Yeah. Um, and I like you a lot. And is it okay if I tell you when I'm pissed off? And is it okay if I tell you when I'm pissed off? Yeah, I switch and be a Ken as clearly as you can be and see what you think of Ken will say. <coughs> Is that true, Ken, or are you just saying that? No, that's true. And I, and I have fears about conflicts, too. Hmm. So it's true, and, and you are a little uncertain about the same Yeah. Yeah, okay, be good to respond. find a safe way for you to do it and ask him to find him his own safe way. Do you understand what I'm saying, man? Yeah. yeah. You just try to build for both of these. Yeah. One good safe way is to make really sure in your guts that no matter how angry you get, you're never going to be like your father and physically hurt someone. Are you willing to decide that for yourself? Say real nasty things to people. No, so 
you think of? So you don't hurt anybody. Toby, you think of any John? Okay, one more thing. You got that one, right? So would you look at Ken and, and, and see if you're willing to tell him that uh, even if you get really angry, you're not going to run away permanently? Even if you get really angry, I'm not going to run away permanently? Yeah. Okay. You might walk out the door someday and then walk back in, but you're not going to destroy the friendship. Yeah. Even if I get really angry with you, Ken, I'm not going to walk away permanently. Well, do you feel that you say that? I, I, I feel kind of relieved by that because it means sometimes I can walk away. I've made it clear that I um, have a commitment to the relationship that I will come back. Sometimes I, I feel I need to go away. I feel really young when I'm emotional and the way I get through life is being grumpy and critical I guess because that's like being grown up, well what I experienced as growing up and so I feel bad about being young and I... I want to tell you what I'm experiencing right now, I'm experiencing you have a terrible parent in your head. You just did a nice piece of work deciding you wouldn't run away, that you could enjoy your angry thoughts and zap in comes your parents saying, yeah, but you didn't do it well enough. One more thing you got to fix up in you. I'm not sure if that's right, but that's what I'm experiencing, so that you can never quite be satisfied with you. Mm, that's exactly right. Yeah, I think I was coming from the point of view, like, feeling shame of being like I am. Yeah, and I think that's because you've got this awful parent in your head that changed you. Will you enjoy what you just did? Yeah. Good. Thanks. Yeah. What did you experience in the um, other chair, ego state? Um, kind of all the ego states, but distant from not right into child, like kind of an intellectual version of it. Do you agree with him? I wanted to check with him. Yeah. Oh, I'm asking a quick because I don't know myself, but didn't seem particular. I mean, there wasn't a lot of parent coming out and telling him he's no good or he's really good or whatever. I, I felt it's like it's like adult. There's child care in there. It's kind of, and it's so I understand it's sometimes quality of the relationship. And child care. It's not really. Child care is really. Yeah. Thought maybe there's a variety of things. So this is a different type of redecision in that um, often you go from 
you're inviting the person in the, the original chair to go from conforming child to rebellious child and so on. It didn't happen this time. Because oh, we weren't inviting them to be angry at the figure already because Thank <laughs> you. 